A series of studies were published in November of 2013, which revealed that half of the public universities have five or more fully online programs, and 90% of college, private colleges offer online courses as part of their program. These studies also found that the biggest barrier to student success was lack of discipline. As graduates of EHE Academy, you are better prepared than most to succeed in this quickly changing post-secondary world. During your time at EHE, you not only learned many things about math, science, English, social studies, and other disciplines, but you've also learned other valuable skills, such as self-discipline, that will serve you well in college, work, and life. So what could I share with you today as a meaningful send-off? My wife has a small business making custom signs for people. Customers send her quotes and phrases that they would like to see put on signs. Some of these quotes are funny or witty, such as, Families are like fudge, mostly sweet with a few nuts. <laughs> or, keeping with the chocolate theme, chocolate doesn't ask silly questions, chocolate understands. <laughs> Other quotes are motivational, like, work until your idols become your rivals. Some are sappy. Here's one that's particularly sappy. Love stories are beautiful. I like ours the most. <laughs> but others are rather profound. Profound instructions to a successful life. I'd like to share three of those with you today. First, don't be a human being. Be a human doing. It is not enough simply to be. We must be doing. To be is to simply exist. Nothing is accomplished by simply existing. If you've got a dream, strive for it. If you've got a passion, follow it. Set goals and work to achieve them. Various people have been attributed with saying following. Pray as though everything depends on God, and work as though everything depends on you. No matter who said it, it's still good advice. There's no substitute for work. Don't let your future be a thing of chance. Don't be a human being, be a human doing. Second, average is the enemy of excellence. This is really about one's state of mind. If you are content with average, you will never rise to being excellent. Think of someone you really admire. Pick anyone in any field, an athlete, an inventor, a world leader, a musician, an artist, maybe even a relative. Why do you admire that person? Chances are they excel at something that makes them great in your eyes. They are more than just average. How do they become great? Even, with, even those who have natural abilities or natural talent, apply themselves to be more than average. They desire to be excellent, and they understood that average is the enemy of excellence. Number three, decisions determine destiny. To me, one of the most interesting aspects of this nugget of truth is that seemingly inconsequential decisions end up having, an, an, end up having a profound impact over time. Consider the ill-fated Air New Zealand Flight 901 on November 29th of 1979. Flight 901 was supposed to be a sightseeing trip to Antarctica. Instead, 257 people on board were killed when it slammed into the side of Mount um, Erebus off the coast of Antarctica. What caused this tragedy? Well, there were multiple reasons, but the most significant was an incorrect longitude coordinate of only about two degrees that resulted in the plane eventually being too far east 
by about 30 miles. While the factual error in the coordinate is noteworthy, the symbolism of how far off course one can get with just a slight change in direction is the more impressive illustration. Small decisions in the moment can have lasting and, and, and profound impact down the road. On a positive note, consider the decision of Alan Turing, Turing excuse me, to put his skills and genius to work by accepting a part-time position at the Government Code and Cipher School during World War II in Lech at Bletchley Park, England. This decision eventually led him to breaking the Nazi Enigma Code, giving the Allies a significant advantage which eventually helped them win World War II. You'll be making many decisions in the next decade. Some decisions will obviously be life-changing, big decisions. Many others may seem inconsequential at the time. Be thoughtful, be smart. Remember, decisions determine destiny. And after